Hello, I'm Drew, Application Engineer with SKF. Welcome to the Baker DX Low Voltage Testing Video. Now we will perform a low voltage uh, test. Um, we want to select the low voltage test mode and we see that that's highlighted here. Uh, if we were in another mode, we want to just push that button to initiate the low voltage test mode. Um, we typically will start with resistance measurement. Uh, before we start though, we want to make sure that the copper or aluminum is selected properly. And in this case, my circuit is copper. And I also want to enter the temperature of the winding. So I'm going to select the temperature icon and then enter my winding temperature. In, in this case, I'm entering it in degrees Celsius. That can be changed in the user settings option. Uh, my winding temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Click done. And now that will be used for temperature compensation. So again, resistance testing is selected. Now I push the test button to initiate the test. And we see the Lee's Energized Light is illuminated as it's making its measurement first for lead one. Um, in the lower right-hand corner here, we see a, a little uh, diagram that defines the mode of uh, lead energization. In this case, it's hot on lead one, uh, and then the other lead, lead two in this case, would be grounded, and the other lead is open. The other option is hot ground ground. That can be selected in the user settings as well. Resistance testing is completed. Uh, we want to make be mindful of the the unbalanced percentage. If that is uh, out of our tolerance, uh, we need to make note of that. Now we'll move on to um, inductance measurement. Select the submenu icon for inductance. Uh, we ha now have another option for frequency. And you have several options, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, 120, 1 kilohertz, and 4 kilohertz. Um, I'm going to select the motor nameplate frequency of 60 hertz. And again, push the test button. The values will populate as the measurements are being made for lead one, lead two, and now finally lead three. And now we'll move on to the capacitance measurement. The capacitance measurement we selected here in the sub option. And of course, on our, our test leads, we want to reconfigure our test leads to have lead one on the circuit, lead two on ground, and lead three will leave open. Once the leads are configured proper, we will initiate the test by the PTT button. And we'll have our capacitance measurement. There is no pass fail criteria for capacitance. And that concludes the testing.